Hey guys, welcome to Collegiated Engineering with Bongani Gumede. So today we will be doing sequence 7, okay? And I'm going to read for you the statement for sequence 7. The statement says that uh, when the start button is pressed, motor 1 must start rotating. So when you press the start button, your motor 1 only must start rotating. Then it says only after 10 seconds can motor 2 be started by the same start button while motor 1 continues to rotate. So only after 10 seconds you can come and press the very same start button so that your motor 2 can start rotating. So your motor 2 must not energize automatically. Okay guys? And then it, it continues to say that uh, 10 seconds after motor 2 has started rotating, your motor 1 and your motor 2 must stop rotating. So when motor one and motor motor one and motor two are rotating, after ten seconds they must both stop. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, the main circuit and this is the control circuit. Let me just zoom in uh, to show you the good part. I'm gonna try to skip the top part and show you the down part, which is most important. Okay, let's remove the fuses. Okay, yes, okay. Now let's go online. Let me energize my fuses. Okay, so this is the start button. But now this start button, we've got two, um, we've got two hold, holding contact or retainer. So we've got the holding contact for KM2 and uh, holding contact for km1 okay and then we've got a uh, delay of timer uh, km1 and uh, then we've got uh, timer one which is the delay on and we've got uh, km2 yeah and then we've got uh, normally open for timer one normally open for timer two which is the delay of timer and we've got a normally close for km2 and we've got a normally close for km1 okay so let me press the oh, I, fall, I have to press the start button so according to the statement when the start button is pressed your motor one must start rotating we see motor one is rotating this is your motor one and we see your timer is energized and your timer is counting if you can check properly now it's on three then it's on two now after when it finished counting for for 10 seconds that's when it says you can be able to start your moto 2 using the very same start button okay yes now we see that normally open is now normally closed because of your your timer is finished counting okay but this there is a nice tricky part or interesting part remember this one it's this normal open it was originally a normal close of km1 so when km1 energizes immediately here it will become a normal open so that power will not flow to go and energize your km2 all right and because we don't want your km2 to energize uh, uh, automatically after 10 seconds but we want it to energize after you press the same start button again so this is me now pressing this same start button again mm, come on yes i've just pressed the same start button and what happened is that now your km2 is energized and when your km2 is energized what happens these normally closed of km2 is now a normally open so that your delay of time can start counting see so your delay of time is counting now it's on one and this is the normally closed now it's going to be a normal open this contact of timer two you'll see and that's it it's a normal open and when it's a normal open what happens your km1 de-energizes and your timer one de-energizes and when your timer one de-energizes here on km2 you'll have an it, it won't um, energize so all your process has stopped okay so let me explain what's happening here again so that you can understand we want our motor one to start when you press this start button but 
we want you to be able to start your Moto 2 using the same very start button, but you must it must not start automatically your Moto 2. You must start it by pressing the start button again. So if you look at what I did here, I added a KM1 normally close contact. So immediately when your KM1 energizes, here it becomes an open loop so that your KM2 does not energize because of remember after 10 seconds, the, this normally open will become a normally close. So you don't want power to flow through here until you press the start button. So when you press the start button, power will flow, flow like this. So let me press the same uh, start button again and explain. Okay, I just press the start button. What happened is that your KM1 energizes. Also your timer energizes, your, your delay of timer energizes. And when your delay of timer energizes, we said that contacts change immediately. And your timer one also energizes, but the contacts will change only after 10 seconds or the preset time that I've set here. So you will see. This one must change. It must change its contact. So now, when it changes contact, now, if here it was a normally open, it means that current was going to energize this. So we don't want from, we don't want that happening. That is why we added the normally closed, which is now a normally open. Then when I come and press the start button, okay, when I press the start button, what happens is that your came to energizes and your came to an energizes is contact of normally close is now normally open so that it can cause your delay of timer to be de-energized so that it start to count you can see for yourself the delay of timer is counting is on two now it's on one now it will be at zero anytime soon and now it's at zero when it's at zero what happens is that it will it will uh, it will change position it will uh, change its contacts to its original positions so that's how you do it okay you can pause the video and check what i did here so i'm just gonna press the start button and let you look at how the simulation work mm -hmm. i press the start button your timer one is counting is on three and then one then it's at zero our 10 seconds has elapsed or preset a time now I'm pressing the start button again Then we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the delay of timer that what I'm, I'm counting for. Uh, and this is counting. Mm. And then that's it. So that's it, nothing hectic here. Just have to understand that your delay of timer, see this contact of TT normal open. Immediately when you apply power here on a delay of timer, this contact will change immediately. And then when you remove power, it will start to count. And then this, it goes back to its original position. Okay, so main circuit most of the times or always it remains uh, the same. So thank you for watching. Let's uh, meet on the next video. Don't forget to share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and comment. Sharp, sharp. And don't forget to press the things button. It helps me to make uh, more content. Sharp, sharp.